and we are back. I'm your host, Nicole Perry, and you're listening to Powerful Women Revealed. Oh my God, what a powerful woman she is, right? Um, such a great song. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Oh love my it. God. I was poking around music. I'm like, perfect. Sold. Pick. Sold. <laughs> perfect. Um, now, let, let's go back a, a little bit okay. to um, what do you believe is one of the most harmful products that us gals are putting on our bodies? The most, I would say, from my um, salon side, not from, you know, going into a, um, a retail store. Okay. Uh, the keratins out there. Oh. The keratins that are not organic and they are full of formaldehyde. They are so bad that in Germany and all those countries, they do not allow them in Really? I have. So you, what product do you use? So we have an alternative. It? I'm, it's hang a, on. It's ascorbic acid. That's the main ingredient in ours. So it's okay. totally natural. Absorbic um, acid. Ascorbic acid. Okay. Yes. So there's no formaldehyde in it. But again, if you lose, if you use less, if the product uses less than 1% of formaldehyde, they don't have to put it on the, um, the label. The label. So how do you know? How do you know if there's some so aldehyde you, in it? You go right into the Google and you really research. I call the and companies keep digging, keep and digging. digging and digging. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So let's talk about some of these products because um, the ones we want are organic, all natural, botanical, and even pigment. Yes. Pigment is um, natural animal or that's right. Pa uh, plant tissue. Yes. Um, well, which I don't know if animal tissue is a good thing well it wouldn't be if somebody is conscious of that then it wouldn't be no yeah okay um but so plant so we want we want, we want the plant we want and botanical ours plant ours okay. is plant all right so i move pigment over here to the bad list um and it so, can't be, yes it can be ammonia yes natural it's not a bad chemical but what happens is the amount that they use makes it bad. Mm. So it makes it harmful when they use too much. So it has to be less than 1%. Okay. And you're fine. And you're fine. Formaldehyde is a suffocating odor. It is. Holy it is. moly, I can't believe that they're putting it into, into a product. The, and this is hurt. This has hurt people. I know a stylist that had, had lost her life. And I'm, and she had respiratory. What happens Well, that's is, extreme. It is extreme. But it, it has respiratory um, symptoms. It starts here, and oh. it goes. So if somebody is weak here, oh, that's going to go right there, and it's going to. Okay, all right. And I then, can't prove that, but I'm just saying yeah. that it does. It definitely. We're I'm not just, doctors. We just no, play one not. on TV. And, and no. it was something that was told to me. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then peroxide is bleach. Peroxide is, but it's an, again natural. It's natural. So it has to be. So how ammonia, much you use. ammonia and peroxide. Is okay. a natural ingredient, but it's how much you use of it that makes it harmful. Okay. And methanol. Yes. I read that methanol is in some of these products. Um, and it's a liquid flammable alcohol. Yes. And yes. this is what we're putting on our bodies. Yes. So yeah, we they really... don't really realize what actually they're putting in until they start to research it. They'll start to know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I frankly, I don't know what I'm going to do now because I love my hairdresser. I've had her for a couple of years. Right. I have changed hairdressers over the years, you know, to, right. because to, you yeah. move or what have, have you. But uh, I don't know what I'm what she's putting on me. I don't know if it's Well, I think you should ask. I want to ask now. Yeah, definitely and, ask and, and just yeah, find inquire. out. Yeah, more information. Um now, what are some of the um wasteful practices that you are very conscious of that you are not doing in your salon? Okay. So, um it's coming but it's not yet. We are having we're going to get a refilling station. So, what does that mean? That means when someone buys a product, they come back with their bottle and we refill it. So, we're not throwing that plastic away. Okay. So, there's one thing that um we're really excited that's coming. Um the other things is we use no plastic bags. So, we're all paper bags um at well, the wh salon. What are you using plastic bags for? Oh, for um, the products. For, for products and stuff, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and all you, paper. And, you, and anywhere you shouldn't, you know, use your reusable bags. Those plastics are terrible. I know. Um, to use, you know. So I get mad at them when they give me, I bring my they, own bags. Me too. And then they fill up my bags and they don't really fill them all the way. And, and then, then, then they use more. Yes. <sighs> Millennials, then, I hope you're listening. Yes, Please. exactly. We need to be conscious of that because it really will make a difference. And maybe not just one person, but when everybody starts to do it, it's yes. going to make a really big difference. Yes. And Absolutely. I and, and frankly, sometimes I will say, nope, don't need any bags today. And they look at me like I have three heads. Yes, they will. They, like, they, they actually push it on you. 
Yes. And put only two products in this bag. I'm like, fill that up. Fill I it know. Up. I don't need that. It, yeah, that's so. silly. That's the mother in me. Now, um, I love that you are all about the environment. Yes. So, so as you started shifting your salon to organic, yes. you really sort of started making that shift for the environment too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because they kind of go hand it in go, hand. It does go hand in hand. And that's like the refilling station. Uh, we recycle at the salon. We also have um, an Earth Day um, month in April. So we can raise awareness to everybody out there as far as environmental. Um, so we'll have that on Earth Day in April. Okay. So um, there is quite a few things that you can, I mean, Google it, and you can see all the things that you can be just conscious of the environment. Just mm -hmm. And another thing with um, the products that we use every day that go down the sink every day, that's not chemical. So when it's chemical, that's going into the sewage and that, mm. you know. It's going into the earth. Absolutely. It's so going that into is, the that's earth. a big prevention. It's got to right go there. somewhere. It has Absol to go yes, somewhere. Exactly. Now, um, I love that you have have a page on your website for clients to provide feedback. Absolutely. Now, I do dissect things quite a bit okay. when I'm doing research, and I love all of your questions. Oh, thank you. When you're reading through those questions, I can feel your sincerity that you really want, you want to know. I do. And, I do. and how often do you read something that, and then you make a shift? You do. I mean, um, if there's, if I need to make a shift, I will make a shift. I have no, if I feel that I, I believe what they're saying is to be true, then I will definitely make a shift and change something that needs to be changed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just love that on my website. I, I wish more people would, would do it. Would fill it out. I knew yeah. you were going to say that. Yes. I really I, wish more I, I was, people I was going to fill it out and I haven't even gone. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I got to go first. I can't fill it out. She's yes. going to be like, what are you doing, Nikki? Um, now tell me about what is the, um, the, so you do manicures? Yes. You do almost everything. We do. We do. And like, is there anything you don't do? Um, well, now we do massage. I didn't have massage for a while, so, um, you know, you kind things. of your hair, your skin, your makeup, right? So your your manicures and pedicures. Yep. Your massage. Yep. Well, eyelashes, your waxing, our makeup, our waxing. I saw we the do. lashes. Yeah. Yes. Now, what kind lashes. of lashes are you doing? Um, there, um, there's different ones that you can use. It just depends on the client and what they want. So we kind of find out what they are seeking. I got the falsies. And then we go, oh, you look good. <laughs> I, have the, I have the individuals. Uh, so yes. now, now I'm doing individuals where before they were clumping a bunch and it was destroying my lashes underneath. And it will because of the heaviness of it. It will tend to, it does. Pull so them that's out. really good. I'm, I'm proud of you that you did that because that's going to make a difference. It costs for a lashes. little bit more. It does. It does. But it looks great, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I love I love my lashes. The lashes, everybody that walks out of my salon. I gave up the nails. They're just awesome yeah i'm not even doing nails right now because lashes are the thing right now lashes and we I'm do them and i'm trying to go natural but i look like i'm 12 like i bite and they and yeah. they look i'm trying to figure that out you will. all right well we got to go to break um so tell me what is the axum soak off gel polish it's just nail polish that's cured onto the um onto the nail bed and it's not organic i will say that it's oh. not it's not an organic product um they're working on it but they haven't found it yet yeah. so if the consumer asks and we, you, you, I you, have to you disclose. I, I do exactly. Yeah. So um, it's great because it lasts for two weeks. But see, the, um, see now the the ones that I was getting only last ten days. Well, you know, it's it depends what you do. So yeah. it's, it's ten. It's ten I'm to fourteen very rough. days. I'm my, rough on my hands. And mine also. I, I never go. I past don't 10 have days. a dishwasher. So I've been washing dishes by hand oh, for two years. Yeah, so you will. You're, they're not going to last on you. <laughs> they're girl. not going to last no matter what. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to go to a break. Um, we have one more segment. I hope you'll stay with us. My guest is Lisa Lee, and you can go to salonnvogueorganic.com for more information. And frankly, you want to go visit. So we'll give the address. But um, you're in Dartmouth, right? Yes, I am. On State Road? I'm, yes. Okay. All right. Well, you're listening to Powerful Women Revealed right here on 95.9 WATD.